In my spare time, I'm making an open source Flutter app called Beast. And Beast is an exercise app uh, which has really one North Star uh, goal, and that is to create an interface that is as simple as possible to use, and yet also be a fully feature complete exercise app. So what I'm gonna do now is show you uh, the current interface and talk about a couple of things that I dislike, go away, make some changes, and then talk about what I've done. So let's just have a look at the app as it stands. This is basically the uh, landing page, uh, the landing view. And the idea here is you should just be able to say how much time you have. So if you've only got five minutes, just go and do some skipping. If you've got a little bit longer, maybe do some dumbbell work or some work with some bands. And uh, if you've got a lot of time, you can do a lot of exercise. So that's my, my one input. I'm, I'm really happy with that. The other thing that I like about this is that for each of these exercises, I can swipe them and get alternatives. Uh, so these are alternative uh, exercises that really perform the same function. So they're the two things that I like about this. Two things that I dislike about this, uh, I can't see uh, what I'm not doing in this workout. So uh, in a way, I want to be able to see what's available if I have all that time. And the other thing I dislike about this is I think these, these uh, exercise widgets are just a bit noisy. Um, there's too much information there. So I'm gonna try and strip that back. So what I'll do is go away, make those changes, and then talk about those changes, and then also what I can take away from the exercise. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, so I've implemented those changes to Beast, and I'm really happy with the results. So let's just take a look. The first thing you're gonna notice is these exercise widgets have been drastically simplified. I've removed the image, the duration, the equipment required, the muscle group, and the order. All of that's gone, and all that remains is the exercise title and the manner in which we're gonna perform that exercise. You can still swipe through these, um, but they're just a lot simpler. The other change I've made is I'm now showing the inactive parts of today's workout, uh, and these change state depending on the time available. And I've just used this simple animation to show that change of state. So I have this tab that's growing and shrinking, changing color, and the exercise is dulling out with opacity. So I think my key takeaway from doing this work is that when you're designing a view, you should be very careful to consider what is the purpose of that view. And then to think about what is the smallest amount of information you can use to convey the purpose of that view. So for this, uh, the idea is to show an overview of today's workout uh, as quickly as possible. So now I have an interface that is, it's simpler, it's easier to read, and I'm actually getting more information out of it because I'm now showing those inactive parts of the workout. So with Beast, what I'm gonna do is uh, open source this app when I'm happy with the source code. Uh, it might seem like a selfish thing to do, uh, but I have good reasons for that. I just wanna make sure that the source code here is as tickety-boo as I can, just really, really good quality source code. Uh, because I would hate for someone to look at this and learn bad practices. Um, I'm pretty confident with the state of it at, at the moment, so I think that should be happening before long. It's a relatively simple app in terms of interface, but it's quite complicated in terms of the data modeling and um, the various ways that we're passing state around the views. So if you want to, if you want to see more videos about Beast, please let me know in the comments. Or if you want any other topics on Flutter, again, just let me know in the comments. Uh, so I've been David King, and hopefully you've learned something from these videos. Uh, so with that, toodaloo.